solve for ionic compounds if you haven't seen the video on oxidation number of ionic compounds please click the link at the corner of the video so for covalent for ionic compounds when we look at monoatomic ions the oxidation number of the monoatomic ion will be its charge you just have to write it in reverse for example sodium is uh, the charge of sodium is 1 plus so the oxidation number of sodium ion will be plus 1 now for covalent compounds they are not ions they don't exist as ions okay they are sharing electrons there has not been any electron transfer no element has lost electron no element has gained electrons however okay we treat it like an ionic compound that's why i said uh, in the beginning of the video for the ionic compounds oxidation number is an arbitrary charge assignment this is what it means by arbitrary charge they don't actually have a charge but we assign a charge okay now this charge how we assign the charge it is based on a few a set of rules okay so here first of all we assume it's an ionic compound where the more electronegative element has gained the electrons and the more electropositive element has lost the electrons of course, when we look at group 17 elements, when you study group 17 elements, you already learn that the electronegativity will decrease down the group, which means fluorine is right on top. Fluorine is the most electronegative element in the periodic table. Okay, fluorine is the most electronegative. And then when we go down fluorine, bromine, and iodine, the electronegativity will decrease. So this is in order of increasing as you go up, the electronegativity is increasing. Below fluorine, we have oxygen. So oxygen is the second most electronegative. This is important. And we will go through it later. After that is nitrogen. Then we continue with chlorine, bromine, and iodine. Okay. So it's not that difficult to remember. Remember your periodic table group 17 elements. Fluorine is right on top. Okay. Now we have some disturbance in the middle. Oxygen and nitrogen. And then we continue with chlorine, bromine, and iodine. So here, let's look at carbon dioxide. Okay, so carbon dioxide is a covalent compound. It does not consist of any ions. However, when we want to assign oxidation number, we treat it as an ionic compound. Please do not get confused. It is not really an ionic compound, but we treat it as if it is. Okay, so here oxygen is the more electronegative uh, atom element here. In fact, it's the second most electronegative. Huh? So, we assume that the oxygen is the one that takes the electrons. So, oxygen is the one that gains the electrons. Carbon is the one that loses the electrons. So, oxygen here will become the negative, so-called negative ion. And carbon here will become the so-called positive ion. Alright. So, the charge of this oxygen ion that has become the oxide ion, so-called oxide ion, must be 2 minus so the oxidation number of oxygen in carbon dioxide is minus 2 right so now when we know the oxidation number of uh, oxygen we can find the oxidation number of carbon because because it is a compound the sum of the oxidation number of the elements must equals to 0 same as ionic compounds so here the oxidation number of carbon plus the oxidation number of the two oxygen atoms here must equals to zero. So when we put it down, we have C plus two times minus two is minus four equals to zero. So when you solve, you get oxidation of number of carbon equals to plus four. Now another thing to remember when you are writing oxidation number please don't forget to write the positive in front of your answer you cannot write oxidation number of carbon equals four you have to write plus four okay please keep that in mind now let's look at another covalent compound so nitrogen dioxide same case here oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen so we assume oxygen is the one that has gained the electrons and oxygen normally gains two electrons so here we assume that oxygen has become the oxide ion in reality it's not eh? but we assume that it is an oxide ion with a charge of two minus so the oxidation number of oxygen 
in nitrogen dioxide will be minus 2 based on its charge. So how to find the oxidation number of nitrogen? Same concept. Because it is a compound, doesn't matter ionic or covalent, the sum of oxidation number of all the elements in the formula must be 0. So pause the video and try it yourself first. Okay, now let's do it together. So, oxidation number of nitrogen plus 2 times oxidation number of oxygen, which is minus 2, we should get 0. We should equate to 0. So, by solving this, we get oxidation number of nitrogen equals to plus 4. Once again, please do not forget the plus in front. Don't forget the sign. Now, try nitrogen oxide instead. Pause the video and try. Okay, so the answer you should get is plus 2. So oxidation number of nitrogen plus oxygen here. This is nitrogen monoxide. Eh? So there's only one oxygen. It must equate to 0. So the oxidation number of nitrogen here is plus 2. Now, from this, I want you to you will learn something else here. You notice that nitrogen can have different oxidation numbers. Now, not all. Some elements can have multiple oxidation numbers okay if you remember now you can understand what you learned earlier about transition elements remember transition elements are metals that can have several oxidation states now this is what it means